Hi, my name is Willan Ziada, and I'm a New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film, and I'm also a Proud Phoenix Global Artist Ambassador. Today, I am speaking with the renowned conceptual photographer and artist, Kasha McKee. For more on Kasha, you can read more about her right below this video, but in the meantime, here is my interview with the incredible Kasha. Well, hello, Kasha, how are you? Hello, Will. I'm fabulous here in Palm Beach at the Kasha McKee Gallery. Kasha, it is, so, it is so nice to meet you. You are Likewise. such an amazing artist. Um, I actually Thank knew you. about you way before I was introduced to you by the amazing Doug and Mikolai. But ah. before we get to that, Kasha, I want to know sure. when you knew you had a love of the arts. Oh, my. Uh, very, very, very young, very, very young. Uh, five years, seven years, nine years, very young. I was drawing and painting and dancing and singing like as far as I can remember. <laughs> to quote Kasha, The Sound of Music, let's start at the very beginning, a very good place to start. I love the journey that you've taken to get to where you're at as an artist. And I wanna actually go from the beginning and you know, I love the fact that throughout all of your career, you've 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 had this love of the underground multimedia world. And I want to know how you got started in your professional career in that world. Sure. Um, let's see. Where do I where do I start? Um, well, school, obviously, my um, in Canada, I'm Canadian, so from high school, I went to university, pursued the art fundamentals, um, Bachelor of Arts degree. However, in my first year, as I was being groomed to be a painter, I didn't feel like I fit in. I, I didn't quite fit into the into the art department with all the other people dressed in black smoking outside at the cafes and stuff like that. I, I wasn't that person that I saw ahead of me. So I was disillusioned after one morning, my art professor said, so all, you, you need to be aware that being an artist, being a painter isn't all bells and whistles and ribbons and bows. You will be poor. You will be rejected. You will. <laughs> she went on and on for, you know, however many minutes. And by the time she was done, I was like, well, er, 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 maybe I don't want to do this. And <clears throat> um, through a trip to Toronto, I went to visit a girlfriend of mine that was at a different school in the business program at the Ryerson um, Polytechnical Institute, and they had an interior design program. So she gave me a tour of school right downtown and all this crazy craziness. I was, uh, you know, small time um, country bumpkin from very, very outskirts of, of Canada. And I fell in love immediately. I was like, well, let me take a catalog. And I flipped through the catalog. So the interior design prog program, and I went, I bet you I could do this. And then I could make some money because well, I don't want to be poor and I don't want to suffer. And not to interrupt you, Kasha. And I love that each step of your career was kind of these moments of aha. So there you are in Toronto. You, you're starting to study and you're studying interior design. And then yeah. it was from a suggestion from a roommate or a conversation you had about photography, that that's when you pivoted once again. Describe that and how that happened. Pure, pure uh, divine intervention, I'd like to say, because the interior design program was absolutely fabulous. It was just uh, all fundamentals, drafting, um, drawing, everything that you can imagine, all the tools, essential tools that you would need in, in regards to get started to be an interior designer. And they were very liberal about giving us the option to use whatever medium we wanted for whatever said project. 
So for some reason, I was like, well, for this particular project, I'd like to try and do a negative print. And at that time, it was film based. And my roommate had just graduated from the photography department, which was across the street from the interior design school. So I asked her, I'm like, look, can I do this? And she's like, yeah and took me by the hand and showed me every single step, what film to buy, how to shoot it, um, how to process it, and then took me into the dark room at her um, school and showed me how to print. And after that afternoon, like the hair went up in the back of my neck and I was like, boom, I don't think I want to be an interior it's, designer. It's, I want to be a photographer. It seems like, Kasha, it was love at first dark room for you. And, it was. And there, from there, <laughs> you then became, and there aren't many people out there, and I've done my research, and you truly are the top. You, there aren't many conceptual photographers out there and so because I needed to do my own research to become educated I would like to in a two-step question for someone who doesn't know what a conceptual photographer is because it's not painting even though some people might think it is it's not so yeah. as a conceptual photographer what that is and what you do but then I would love to then have you take us on your world renowned a little tour of your studio in Palm Beach yeah, I'd love to. Absolutely. All right. So first of all, the conceptual photograph is exactly that. It's using vision absolutely like a painter. When you have a black, blank canvas, a painter has an idea. They use their materials. They use their paints, their brushes, uh, whatever tools that they have to take what's in their mind onto the canvas. Conceptual photography is very, 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 very much the same where I use digital photography and my environment to inspire me to come up with a conceptual piece. I use my tools, my camera, my uh, software and bring the vision that I have through, um, through this creative process of shooting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of digital images of my subject, similar like this, this piece behind me, I'll describe in more detail. And then I review my images and through that process, I create my scenes. I build my extreme realistic scenes, <laughs> real big too, like 66 by 96. Big, 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 big. I love it, Kasha, because as a theater director, you're almost speaking a similar language to what I do, because you're not only taking all of the skill sets that you've put into your and gained in your tool belt as a photographer, but as an interior designer, as an artist in those underground, nifty, maybe off the wall places, and it, it combined into this beautiful art form that you are now world renowned for. And although offline you've claimed that you are not famous, I actually tend to disagree because I've done some digging on you and you are very well acclaimed and extremely well known. And um, I would love for you at this point, if you don't mind, talk a little bit more about uh, the, the work behind you. And then, yeah, I would love to see, and I know the audience would love to see a little bit of a sneak peek at your incredible studio in Palm Beach. Thank you, thank you. First of all, I appreciate the endorsement. You're wonderful from your lips to God's ears. Um, and then currently I am in a 25,000 square foot space. It's a showroom here in Palm Beach that is a gem. There isn't anything else like it in the neighborhood. I don't even know if something like this exists nationally. So it's over 30 different galleries, national galleries that are either independently owned by artists like myself or they're galleries that represent several artists. So uh, let's just take a little, a, little, a little peek here. So I'll go into sort of a, a little bit of a intersection so you can see just how big and uh wow like it's massive incredible massive. so my my um gallery starts oops here with this conceptual photograph this is the flower puzzle series 
So um, there are five of them and you can see them in my booth as well. So there's the roses, there's the pink ones, the yellow ones, the purple ones, the red ones. And this was part of a, an experiment where I used photographs of flowers and you can see the scale, how, how big the roses are compared to me. And I wanted to create this puzzle effect. So every single flower fits perfectly to create um, something very decorative. Oops, excuse me. Very, very decorative and, and very beautiful and, and wow. you know, fit a to fit a nice big wall here somewhere. That is and absolutely <laughs> incredible. Oh my goodness. And then we've got the flower, or excuse me, the, uh, the parrot tree. This was, oh my goodness, uh, hundreds and hundreds of hours where I went to the Palm Beach Zoo and photographed these gorgeous parrots. And um, they were a pair of macaws. And in the zoo, their habitat was very small and they had these cinder blocks as a background. I built them a tree with the sticks that they had in their actual habitat. And then the background, I shot the tiger exhibit, mirror imaged it to create a luscious tropical background such as they deserve. And then I just created a family oh, Kasha, out of the different I mean, poses. Your, your photography, Kasha, along with all the work that you do in post, they almost look three and four dimensional. They look like they're about to leap and breathe out of the canvas. Thank you for saying so. That is the number one reaction that I get besides are those paintings? It's like, no, they're not paintings. It's conceptual photography. And then they go, er, 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 er. what's that? Kasha, <laughs> you know, I want to I want to dig a little bit deeper into, you know, the whole notion of NFTs. As we all know, NFTs are a thing now. And I want to yeah. know, you know, from your lips, what you're looking to do as, a, as an artist with, you know, NFTs. Mm -hmm. This is like... Uh, game changer for my work and my career. The conceptual photograph was a big game changer for me as well because it really pushed my creative envelope and uh, gave me a process that I could really run with. So I have traveled the world with my uh, fabulous husband and I've shot some, some of the most incredible uh, landmarks, uh, Par the Paris catacombs, the Rome uh, Colosseum, I've got the Trevi Fountain, I've got all these these wonderful landmarks that I want, I intend, I have this list to do these conceptual photographs with. And um, I needed the time, but now that the NFT explosion has happened, it has given me another opportunity to go bigger and extend my audience and do something else with my work so that I can, let's say, take these elephants and animate them and then format them as an NFT. So that whole marketplace for digital art um, takes my already very complex work. I will animate them, put them on the NFT market so that it creates a, a higher end NFT because there's all this crap out there now, everybody just flooding the gates. Oh yeah, look, I'm gonna make a million dollars if with this, you know, nothing, nothing 3D Absolutely. crap. You know, so and I also love Kasha, you know, just with the future and using what we have out there in terms of technology, NFTs, you know, I'm also looking at it from selfishly a theatrical standpoint. You I know one of your mission statements, and it is for me, and it is for so many artists of all disciplines who are joining Phoenix, this whole notion of collaboration and connecting with artists all across the country and around the world. And already, as a theater director, creating new, innovative theater pieces, I can't wait to have a conversation with you and how we can create 
an original story using your artwork as the heartbeat of the production. Because what I love yeah. so much about your work, Kasha, everything that you do, everything, whatever you photograph, it has its own story within it. And it allows, I can, I can imagine little girls holding their mom's hands, dragging the father to the theater piece and father being like, this is awesome. I mean, I can, I mean, it is literally the possibilities are endless with your- Isn't that wonderful? It's so great to be inspired. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Will. I'm, great minds think alike. So, blah, blah, blah. and this Phoenix 360 platform is very exciting because as it's been explained to me, it will not only create a beautiful environment for professional artists around the world to uh, bring their art forward and with music, with NFTs, whatever the genre, and to the networking, the collaboration, but um, the what's really important for me is the technology and, and how it will be sort of like a one-stop shop where I don't have to go and um, with the cryptocurrency and go to Ethereum and then go get a wallet someplace else and then go to another, another platform to do the auction. The Phoenix 360 is gonna be all together. So it makes everything super simple, secure and uh, valuable. So that, that's really exciting. Well, Kasha, I can't wait to speak with you more, but in the meantime, Everyone viewing this video, for more on Kasha, you can read more about her right below this video. And if you are in the Palm Beach area, or just get in, stay in touch with Kasha because she may be coming to a city near you. And Kasha, I'm so <laughs> grateful that our mutual friends, Doug and Nikolai introduced us and that you are Likewise. now introduced to a wider audience. And um, thank you so much for speaking with me today. Exciting times, exciting times. Thank you, Will. Thank you for making the time to, to reach out and uh, have a one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Digital age, artists and bands struggle to make a living. In fact, only a small number of artists can live off their craft. For the 98% of artists that don't have the luxury of being signed to a label, it's tough. But artists deserve to live off their art. Wherever you are around the world, appreciation of music does not change. Phoenix brings bands and their fans together whilst allowing bands to properly monetize their passion. The Phoenix app will directly connect bands and fans with no need for middlemen. We're utilizing the blockchain to give the power back to the artists once and for all. Join Phoenix, join the change.